Hey everyone, this is Dawn and welcome back. So let's make another um, index card for the ICAD 2020 challenge. And yes, I'm kind of crafting in a little messy space here. And that's okay. All right, so I have got the Fabri Fix out, so or Fabri Tech or whatever it is that I have here. So I've got time to move my paper around. And I've got probably too much for what I'm putting together here, but I like to have my edges glued down. So I'm going to put together this index card that's all curled up because I painted on it with another index card to sturdy it up. And I will say these index cards are very flimsy to the touch anyways. They just don't make things like they used to. And I get it for costs and recycling and all of that, but things just aren't like what they used to be. <laughs> all right, I'm going to, now that I have glue everywhere, let's put these index cards together. Yep, got a little bit of seepage, and I can tell you what, I make videos, <laughs> you guys see this stuff all over my fingers. Yes, it's just glue everywhere. Glue always stuck in my fingers. All right, so I'm going to take a little bit of this Distress Ink, or I could just use my regular old black ink, but this is what's sitting next to me. I have my little sponge jobber that I've had forever that I use specifically for my black ink, and I don't know. My craft room needs some serious help, folks. <laughs> I was managing to clean it really well and then I've been crafting much more and um, yeah my room just exploded again my sister gave me a new hand-me-down table that has been sitting aside for weeks probably going on a couple of months now at this point I think so I was just trying to get everything cleaned out um, to move it in and I could see floor and I had things put it together and anyways it just exploded. So this was a background that I had um, painted with some um, turquoise paint, one of these ones that I got on clearance, the Dilutions, Vibrant Turquoise. And uh, I was crafting with Donna at Powered by Creativity on her channel, and I was gonna show how to use um, the crackled paint effect. And I've shown this, I will leave a link to a tag that I made with the crackle effect. So I put a coat of paint on it and that dried and then we put a really good thick layer of just good old fashioned Elmer's glue, Elmer's glue and then put some other acrylic paint on top of it and when it dried it goes into a crackle finish. Well I thought I was doing that the other night and uh, I had totally forgotten to put the glue on top. So it was just acrylic paint and the brush I was using had a little bit of gold in it. And it actually just came out to this nice sheen. So that's what I'm using here tonight. And then I've just added some black and my good old fashioned little speckle stamp that I've had for years and years. Um, itty bitty backgrounds, you can still find them on eBay. A lot of people ask me about them, but this is kind of like a staple and I try to keep it right next to me. And yes, I had to look for it and it was in some things sitting behind me so anyways I finally found it and uh, it's been storming up a storm my craft room is a craft porch um, with an aluminum ceiling I don't have temperature control out here my little air conditioner unit broke so it has been really loud out here so this is a little die cut I just pulled out of I have a little die cut book, you guys have seen it, art by Marlene from Studio Light, and uh, this Love Makes the World Go Round was a little die cut, well it's sitting right next to me, hello. Um, uh, joggles.com has these little die cut booklets back in and another version of this as well and I did order that and I don't show you these things so you run out and get what I have but my crafty styles have been changing and uh, I don't know these were just fun and quirky and <laughs> they're just um, I don't know I'm just enjoying them is that my friend Jen one of them I did she's like I don't know Dawn that's a little bit creepy so it might not be for everyone but in Anyways, I'm going to use this little love die cut and I'm going to grab my little spongy tool again and add some black around this die cut just to 
knock back those little white edges. And then, oh no, <laughs> I just blew, I punched out some tiny hearts and I just blew them away. This is real crafting, folks. All right, and um, I have um, a primitive heart a Sizzix die cut um, that has three different sizes, and this is like a hot pink glitter. I'd originally kind of did this stripe, kind of reminds me of Beetlejuice, which I kind of think that's fun too. And then I kind of liked the hot pink better. And then I was thinking, do I want to layer them? Which again does give me Beetlejuice vibes, but I think ultimately I'm gonna decide to just go with the hot pink. And yeah, let's go ahead and glue that down. We could think about it for a while, but my indecisiveness will show. So let's get on with the project at hand. And as always, I really like it when my edges are glued down. I don't like it when you can pick up an edge. Depends on what it is. But for the most part, I say glue those edges down. Loving the shape of this big old primitive heart. And I almost want to pop this guy up. So the question is, does Dawn have foam tape that she can see or put her hands on? Usually the answer is no. Okay, hold please. All right, and we're back. So I found some foam tape, smushed it on the back of my die cut piece here, and it's not gonna sit up too high, which is perfectly fine. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my little die cut down. And let's see, I have this heart punch that I've had for a very long time and this heart punch, both old, both retired. This is an old Stampin' Up. Look, I've even got paint all over this. Um, and this is an old Martha Stewart. Probably some of my very most used punches. I love punches. Great um, everyday pieces. Kind of like the little black skirt <laughs> in your closet. Staple pieces, I think. Basics, you know? So I cut out some of these tiny hearts thinking I would like them, but I have to tell you, not really a fan of that. So let's see. I'm going to grab out a glitter pen, and this is a Nuvo glitter gloss. And I think I'm going to add, oh my goodness. I think I squeezed this recently. Let me tell you, the shine is just shimmering out. I don't know if it's showing, but wowzer. And then I've got a Posca white paint here. A paint pen, I should say. I was wondering if I want to use some of these tiny black and white striped hearts. Maybe I do. I was originally thinking I don't, but maybe I do. These are the ones that are very thin paper that I blew and they went everywhere. <laughs> and I've cut out a few different hearts just to see what I thought I might like. Maybe want to put one over here. Use these two little small guys up here maybe. That's kind of cute. All right. Let's glue them down. Love makes the world go around. Could definitely use a lot of love in the world right now. Okay. We've got another one here, and yes, I'm licking my finger to pick up my tiny hearts, and it's my index card, not anyone else's, so <laughs> all good. And let's see, I almost want to put a third one up top here, but then I'm going to think it's too much. But let's see, what do we think? I think we're going to go with more the merrier. Just using a little bit of the art glitter glue. Okay. Yes, I like that. And then I was wondering. Let's put a few dots around. Oh, I'm kind of liking that. Do we want to do some dots up the side? Mm 
Maybe we should keep going around. Oh, okay. I say keep going around the heart. I'm liking that. Maybe I shouldn't have done it around here, but... Hmm. And then... I'm wondering, do I want to do any more of that? I'm going to add a few little dots here and there. Sometimes it's the little things you don't even notice that can add a lot to a project. For that reason, I love to have black and white pens on hand. And let's see, do we want to do anything else to it? <laughs> I think I'm going to add a few dots up in this corner and maybe a couple down here. I think I'm going to call that done. All right, so this is index card, and technically it's, what is this, Wednesday night, so I'm going to post this for Thursday morning's index card so I can get back on track because I've missed a few days, but uh, really enjoying this process. I know some folks just um, commented on this morning's video that you guys are, are making some too, so I want to check some of those out. All right, thanks so much for stopping by and watching. Give us a thumbs up, and uh, until next time, bye.